So Fatima, I, I got to land this plane. Yes. So let, let's. I want straight answers. You're in yeah. Congress now, Professor Ibrahimi. How soon are we from having plasma energy generating centers in every city? We are close, actually. It's a. Can you give us a number? Five, but. Five years? I would say five to ten years. Okay, yes. January there are 2030. 2030. <laughs> you're going to be right there. We got our so number. Because, we got our, we'll, we'll, so in terms of that, but that is. We'll then, drag you back in here. Yes, but that's a scientific network. I said. Okay. If you want to put it on the uh, engineers know, electricity, are good. I'm not worried yeah. about the engineers. They yes. come through when you need them. Mm. Okay. That's first. Second, when will we have rockets with humans in them that will use plasma propulsion? And will the first trip to Mars use it? The first trip, I don't know, because it's possible that if you put, if all the resources are put there, you could get there once with chemical. Right, uh, right. Propulsion, mm -hmm. but again, to be to have a sustainable kind of um, uh, travel, uh, so you need uh, plasma propulsion. Does NASA have a group working on plasma propulsion? What do they call you up to get to? <laughs> what do we do next, Fatima? <laughs> yes, give me more funding. Yes. Oh. Oh. There you go. Oh. I knew she'd be begging for money at some oh. point. But how can a human travel that fast under through under? Isn't that an issue? Plasma propulsion. I mean, is uh, it's yeah, a slow it's acceleration. A slower acceleration. Your face yes, is not going to do this. It's not. You know. No. 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 It's not like you know. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you. Know, I just wanted that. to get some of the lines out of my face. <laughs> it seems like a high really acceleration. Fun, we get really yeah. fun way you get to get some plastic lift. surgery. Could I say that actually, maybe we look at more um, closer, term, you know, places to go? And I think moon could be, as I said, it could be just plasma propulsion. You don't. What are we going to do with the moon? We've been to the moon. Resources, what am I see at the moon? resources. There's all sorts. I got of moon rocks in my top drawer. In my drawer. Everybody. No, you don't. One know. of the way. One of the way to actually create fusion energy. It's something is called a neutronic. Means that you kind of the other. Uh, you use deuterium, helium. You know, uh, to create energy, and you don't produce. Neutrons. So that's just the PP chain in the center of the sun. There's yeah. no loose neutrons yes. coming out of that. Yes, exactly. Right. Because so neutrons neutron. are bad because they yes. come out and they'll, yeah. they, nothing stops them. Yeah. Yes. They don't yes. have a charge. They're very pushy. You, their, their advantages, they don't have to push. <laughs> the other particles don't even know they're there. <laughs> Am I right? Yes. With yes, neutrons? Yeah, yes, it's exactly. It's like dark yeah. matter. Neutrons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a fun uh, reaction in the sun called the, the the PP chain, the mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. proton proton chain. Exactly. And it uses deuterium and du yeah. tritium. No, yeah. I, I don't remember tritium, but we have uh, uh, helium three exactly. is in there. Exactly, yeah. exactly, yeah. exactly. Helium three. Mm -hmm. So you have also fuel for also fusion. So there are things there, and um, you want to make some steps for the next generation. You know, non chemical propulsion. You first make some good step mm. progress, and then gradually. Going further, you use fusion energy yeah. to so go you, there. Yeah. So in this process, you guys seem fairly lazy. You're taking your time, five years. <laughs> are you are you using in all seriousness, are you using how does AI factor into any of your work or will it in terms of the, the advancements you're gonna you're trying to make? Yes, definitely. You know, mm. computers. First of all, all most of the progress we made in plasma physics and fusion have always been, you know, together. Experiments and advanced computation work together to make discoveries and also any kind of achievement, it has to be together. Well, I think we kind of need to wrap this yes, up. Yes, we do. Yeah. Yes, we do. Unfortunately. Yes. Well, Fatima, give, uh, give me uh, some <laughs> words for the future. Be patient in terms <laughs> of... <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're fine. Yeah, yeah, uh, okay, yeah. I'm sorry you I asked. Yeah. <laughs> it's no. not the answer is like this. Well, how so, do you define future? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me say it. Uh, for the future is that progress and discovery doesn't happen doesn't happen overnight. Mm. It's the continuous uh, work of scientists, mm -hmm. long term investments uh, to kind of you put all the energy you have, collaboration, all of that, and um, cross 
pollination of various types of, you know, group working mm-hmm. on various types of plasma or types of devices, fusion experiments. Progress happened like that. Mm-hmm. So it's not. So it's just, it's also new physics. We learn every day in every regime of plasmas. We sure. learn new things and we apply it like this, you know, right. rocket thruster. Mm-hmm. We apply it for other applications. Mm-hmm. What we learn in fusion, we also apply it for other um, for other applications. And uh, so it's just a it's an continuous, ongoing process. It's a continuous work. So Fatima, typically at the end of our, yes. our, our sessions, I offer the viewer a cosmic perspective on the topic yes. of the day. But you, you so beautifully summarized the plight of the scientists, the engineer, society, funding sources. That's any and all that I would have said in my cosmic perspective. Thank you. So <laughs> thanks for making my job just a little easier today. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.